right, we're recording. So um, I haven't looked at the market for, <laughs> I don't know, four or five days. Um, I had my birthday, so I've just been chilling out, spending time with family. Um, this is normally the day that I check for setups anyway. Um, so let's take a look at what Bitcoin might be doing. Um, daily does look like we could be holding bullish order flow. Um, we're currently kind of trading within this block here. Um, you do want to see a, a stronger reaction out of bullish order blocks for them to be considered valid. Um, we did get the fair value retest here previously before the move up um, but yeah we're kind of currently in a bit of a retracement which is good I like to see this early week in a bullish market um, kind of gives me some uh, confirmation that we could continue an uptrend throughout the rest of the week um, I generally do stick to that rule when Framing a weekly bias. Sup, be good, bros. How are you? Um, but as you can see, we've kind of tapped into this bullish order block here on the four hour. Um, and price looks to be kind of respecting it, but the the uh, the nine and eighteen MAs have kind of crossed bearish. On, uh, on the four hour, which would be the last um, time frame that I use um, the 918 MA cross. I only use them on high, uh, higher time frame. Um, but we're getting a bit, a little bit of a reaction out of there. I would like to see them kind of cross back bullish, um, or we, we could kind of just reject this area and continue down. Um, but we'll take a look at some altcoins. I'm kind of neutral right now, so I might be looking for longs and shorts this week. Um, if my bias is neutral, I'm kind of open to to uh, looking for both sides of the market, um, depending on how altcoins look. Because right now, yeah, we could definitely just reject this uh, cluster of price action here and, and kind of, um, you know head down and, and violate this order block and just continue down. We've got, um, you know, a nice little wick low all the way down here. 200 MA still hasn't been retested on the four hour. So, um, yeah, this this could be a bit of a retracement phase and, and uh, just a just bit of a flush. We're definitely not bearish though, so don't yeah, don't start screaming, you know, crypto market's going to die. <laughs> yeah, definitely be good. Um, we definitely, it's a bit, there's no definitive direction right now. Um, we can still look for setups, but um, bias will, will be neutral for, for the start of the week anyway until we get a bit of, a bit more of a clear direction. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll get rid of all these scribbles, um, and we'll head to some other coins. Uh, we'll have a look at ETH. ETH looks okay. Um, obviously, we've got the bearish cross with the nine eighteen MAs, but uh, we've kind of kind of using the two hundred MA support. I wouldn't frame a setup on this. Um, yeah, no, there's not really much. I, I like to see, you know, a, I like to see some sort of sell side liquidity sweep and then a reversal and then a retest into a bullish order block. So, for example, you could have scalped something like this. Um, that's a sell side sweep. Bullish order block after the sell side sweep. And that would have been your entry point. So that retracement at 3528 would have been the entry point into the order block, and then you could have 
exited at 3681. Um, obviously that's hindsight, but that that's the kind of setups I like to see. Um, there's nothing really to to look at here for me personally, so we'll we'll move on quickly. Um, I don't like to spend too much time analyzing one coin, as you know, as we know, there's a lot of them. Um, Ub took a hit. <laughs> we'll get rid of the MAs. Actually, no, we won't. We'll, we'll get rid of nothing. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, Nier's not far down, so we will take a look at Nier, be a good man. Um, Ub is definitely looking bearish. Um, there's no real setup here for me personally. You could have got in from this fair value gap retest. Yep, I'll take a look at RSS32, man. All good. I'm just going through my watch list at the moment. Um, I'll write both those down. So, near and RSS3. SS3, cool. Um, yeah, that could have been an entry point. So when you see that's another entry point, you see these wicks. That's they're your entries into into short setups. No idea why, but my headset keeps turning off randomly. Just drinking some more liquid gold. I had a bit of a late night last night. My little boy was, um, yeah, just upset for whatever reason. <laughs> Didn't get to sleep till late, so I've had a bit of a late one. Um, we'll move on from Arb. I'm not really seeing much at all. Um, yeah, nah, there's not much going on there. The Shots have kind of already played out. You could look for a, a deeper retracement into this bearish order block before further, but um, not going to really bother looking at that. Um, EOS, I don't really like to trade EOS. It's bores the shit out of me. Um, <laughs> price action's always been quite oh. That looks decent for a bit of a, you know, you could have a go at a long. It's retested the 200 MA on the 4 hour. It's kind of using it as support. You know, we've kind of got the bearish cross on the 918 MA. So that's not indicative that, that there's bullish momentum coming in. But you can always um, let's have a look at the 1 hour. Yeah, um, I wouldn't bother. <laughs> Let's move on quickly because that's just not showing me anything. I don't really like to hang around. Um, look at the daily for Rose. Got a nice retracement. There's just it's just the the structures on all these coins just look trash <laughs> at the moment um and there's definitely always moments in the market where you're better off just sitting on your hands i'm not going to force any trades and uh and try and force a bias we did take a bit of sell side liquidity here um before a you know bit of a i wouldn't even call that a reversal yeah no let's let's not force this <laughs> Um, Arth looks okay on the hourly. We'll get we'll to the four hourly first though to see what the structure looks like. So, had a bit of a 200 MA retest. Currently trading, tapped into the bullish order block on the four hour. I'm going to get rid of these double MAs because they're annoying me. Um, I'll put them back on on each coin anyway, but I'd just like to see what the candles look like without the distraction. Um, yeah, this looks okay on the four hour, so we'll head down into the one hour. Um, 
Um, yeah, so it's kind of it's 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 gone into this. That's the whole four-hour order block, but you can see the hourly order block. This down close candle. Um, it's quite a significant down close candle. I mean, order block as you can see the the move we got to the upside from there. Um, yeah, it's 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 moved nicely out of there and also formed this bullish order block in response. Um, you could look to get in on that retest of this order block. We kind of broke the the bearish downtrend. So we'll head to the 15 minute. I might set this as a pro alert. Um, yeah, so let's go, let's pull our fibs from this swing low here to this swing high, the break structure. Hmm. Yeah, you're right, B. Good. Definitely, uh, there's definitely times to to be looking for trades and times to not be looking for trades. Um, I'm still fine with, with looking for trades today as this is my main day where I find time to look for trades and I've been getting a lot of sun and too much food and, and everything else. So <laughs> we'll see, uh, we'll uh, try and find some trades for this, for this week. Yeah, no, I agree, be good man, of looks good. Um, I'm going to look for entries. We can see this fair value gap. I'll get rid of all the drawings, but you can see see how I stripped it down. So I went from the four hour. We saw that there was a bullish order block on the four hour, and we saw a nice reaction from that bullish order block to the upside. We then went down to the one hour. So you can see the darker gray box is the four hour bullish order block that we established. We then went down to the one hour. We can see the 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 hourly bullish order block and the movement to the upside from the hourly bullish order block. So that that's an important area in price because you can see that it has a willingness to move up. We broke this downtrend wick, so that could be indicative of a move to the upside. And then now we're going to the 15 minute to find entries. Um, and yeah, you can see that from pulling the fibs from this from this swing low to this swing high, because that's an energetic move to the upside, and that's the move that broke this. So we'll we'll label this. So that's a break of structure. It's a BOS break of structure. Um, so that's an important leg in, in, in price action because we've we've formed a bullish order block here, we've moved up, we've broken out of the local downtrend, and now we're retracing a little bit. Um, I'm going to be looking for an entry at 121.5, which is, we'll get rid of all the drawings now, just so you can see what I'm talking about. We'll get the fibs back up. So... Extending them kind of annoys me because I have to line it up without. Sup, don't I? <laughs> um, so we can see here, I'll get the break of structure back up as well. So that's the, that's the, that's the break of structure. And that's why pulling your fibs from here is, is valid because this is where we, I only use fibs to look for entries. It's just a visual thing for me. Um, 0.62. So we're going to go... I'm actually going to set this as a pro alert. Um, we'll go 10x with it. I'll type out the pro alert now. So long of at 121.5. We'll go 10x leverage. Our targets are obviously going to be above the, the this high that took the break your structure. So you can see this, The I, I use the negative, so I use the, this is range equilibrium but on the other end of the spectrum. So the negative 0 0.5 you can see it actually lines up with this bearish order block quite nicely. So in case we did reject, and that's untapped, so in case we did reject 
um, you, we can take profits here so the target prices for me are going to be 127 we'll just go fractally fuck it 127.04 uh, 129.51 and then we're gonna 134.46 um, we're also going to our initial exit will be this swing high so what we're anticipating right now is a retracement down into here and then continuation so you can see this the 0 0.62 the 0 0.7705 and the 0 0.79 fib retracement lines up well with this bullish order block doesn't it and this bullish order block hasn't been retested yet on the 15 minutes so we're looking at that as our entry point um, and you can also see a fair value gap just above which is hanging around range equilibrium from from the swing low to swing high so we're only pulling fibs from from energetic moves you know I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not looking to pull fibs from like you know from here to here or like just just stupid crap you know you you you're uh you you're pulling your fibs for for entry points from significant areas in price action so the reason this is significant is because we've formed a swing low here we then looked so we've we've created a bullish order block here we've moved to the upside we've retraced we've moved to the upside energetically and we broke this this swing high here so that and this was the downtrend so the downtrend was from here all the way through so it, you could use your trend line if you wanted to but we're not using trend lines but this was a this was a downtrend so that whole line there was it was a downtrend and that's why it's significant because this is this is showing us that we could be reversing in local price structure um, I'll, I'll check the chat quickly sorry I got okay sweet be good you like that's awesome <laughs> I'm glad um, so wait I'll just go back sorry I'll go back to pro alerts will so 124.9 one we'll go 125 125 will be our initial target 127.04 129.51 134.46 will be our targets for the setup um, so where would we put our stop loss um, my headset just turned off again sorry guys um, so where I would place it for this setup is below this wick low price shouldn't be going below there if we have reverse into bullish order flow so you could place it a touch below um, that wick low just in case you know we get stop hunted which we know is um, is a common theme in, in crypto <laughs> but you could also just place a hard stop below at that wick low because we should not be if price has reversed um, which w is what we've anticipated um, it should not violate that wick low because what we've established or what we are anticipating is that price has tapped into this bullish order block and we're using that as a point of significance so we got the move to the upside as soon as it hit into that order block and then why would it go below that unless it's looking for for, sh for lower um, orders unless price is looking for lower orders um, it shouldn't be it shouldn't go below that from a technical standpoint so we'll round it off to 118.5 the stop loss um, I won't post a chart for the for the setup because 
obviously we're scribbling and I'm trying to educate you guys at the same time. Um, so we'll, we'll keep trying to move on because we'll keep trying to find some more setups. Um, we'll layer entries, so layered entries at 121.07. And 120.65, so they're going to be our entry points. I like the 120.65 entry point the most because obviously that's deep into the the uh, bullish order block. But that this is why we layer entries because we don't. Um, I'm not trying to catch the 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 perfect entry point. Um, at the end of the day, price <laughs> doesn't listen to what we we want it to do. It's going to do what it wants to do. We're only guessing. Um, so let's see how we go. I'm just I'm gonna post that, everyone. Cool. So that's Av. Let's see how we go. Um, I'm actually gonna set those orders on my phone quickly in case we get it during the stream. Sorry guys, I should be more organized, but it's what it is. <laughs> um, so 10x 120 1.5 one, 121.07 and 120.65 sweet Cool, so they're set. Let's see how we go. <laughs> um, sorry, I'll go back to stream, back to chat. Sweet, I'll check Phil Wildeck or Will Willie Udeck or however you want to say your name. Uh, Phil, I'll write that down. Um, nice three inside up on the one hour too. I like this a lot more. Take your time setting up trades live. Yeah, so the whole point of this is to kind of show you guys what I look for when looking for setups. So, um, we've established, well, I've established that my bias is neutral at the moment. So I will be looking for longs and shorts. Um... Yeah, we'll call him Mr. Dog Whiff Hat. That's a good idea. We'll, we'll stick with that. <laughs> um, I'll just have another sip of this liquid gold. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I want you guys to, to, to see what, what you should be looking for. Even the kind of mindset, you know. Because like, as you can see, I'm not looking at coins and going... Oh, like there's a there's a setup in this coin because I want there to be like no if even if I want there to be a setup on a coin like if there's no setup I move on there's don't force trades um, how you feel about something isn't what it is a lot of the time in in, in trading so um, you just gotta look at things as logically as possible and and be uh, yeah, so right now, what, what what are we looking at here? There's there's nothing here for me. Um, we've broken bullish order flow. That would have been an order block. I would have been looking for TRB to hold. It's not. Um, it's the MA is now being act, act, acting as uh, dynamic resistance on the four hour. So. If anything, you would be looking for shorts and anticipating a sweep of this wick low, which would be quite heavy with with uh, sell side liquidity. Um, lots of people would be would have their stop losses sitting at that at that wick low and kind of just trading this entire range in in the, in the consolidation. Um, so yeah, we'll move on from TRB. I never really trade TRB too much, I won't lie. Um, Gala actually looks okay. 
got old fibs there. Um, we'll get rid of them. Um, would have liked to have seen more of a reversal from this sort of order block, but there's, yeah, I'd be waiting. There's nothing really showing itself to me other than, you know, I'd kind of want, so you've got the market structure shift here, which kind of lines up okay with the 200 MA. So I'd be looking for a retest of that before potential continuation. Um, that's also kind of sitting in that fair value gap nicely. Um, so you've got that fair value gap there. It's kind of sitting, the market structure shift is almost at complete equilibri equilibrium of that fair value gap. Um, so yeah, I'd be waiting for something like this for Gala, um, which, you know, that's actually valid. So I'll, I'll, I'll actually be waiting for that and I'll set an alert on that if, it, if we do get a retest of that market structure shift. Um, but we'll move on because that's not showing me anything too definitive. Solana, we caught the move last, uh, last live stream on this, which was really sweet. I think we got in from like 140, yeah, it was this retest here. So we got in from, from there on the hourly. Got the bottom on it, boys <laughs> and girls. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm not going to be. I'm not looking at Solana right now. It's kind of in up only mode. Um, I wouldn't be shorting it. Let it do its thing. Um, if anything, you'd be looking to to long it from uh, retracements. But that's yeah. I'm not going to be looking to get in on Solana this week. We we caught the move last week. Um, CHZ not showing me much. Um, kind of took buy side here, and that's where we started the downtrend. Um, get the double OMOs. Yeah, it's. It's definitely bearish momentum. Um, you could look to short CHZ. I'm not going to be looking for a setup on CHZ, and I'm not going to even entice you guys to long or short it. <laughs> so we'll move on. GMT. Bearish. Not much here. The, uh, the short move would have been from this order block. So you can see up, you can see how these order blocks are kind of respected really nicely. So we got the up close candle before a energetic move to the downside. Consolidated for a bit, gave us plenty of uh, plenty of moments to, to enter in from this bearish order block. Um, and then we respected it and we couldn't break above that swing high and we've we moved down and then you've, we've, we've got this next up close candle here before another energetic move down so what makes what is a bully a bearish order block so we've got an up close candle before a move to the downside the move to the downside has to be larger than the move to the upside so that's the order block is the, this up close candle, and then you're expecting your entry point could be, you know, after you might do something like this, and then tap into that order block. You don't want it to break the high before further downside. So you wouldn't want it to break above the high of the order block or else it invalidates that order block. You want it to re retrace back up, um, show weakness, form a lower high, 
and this would be th this box would be your entry point but that's a that's a bearish order block so there's an up close candle before an energetic move to the downside the downside has to be larger than the upside move so you're using the up close candle which is here up close candle energetic move to the downside retrace back up into it didn't break this box this would be your entry point so you could have called a move from 0.3524 I would have looked to exit at 0.2855 so it's a nice move and it's the opposite for for bullish order blocks obviously you've got a move to the downside followed by an energetic move to the upside and then you might stair step down into that order block before continuation so the order block is this down close candle hopefully that makes sense so down close candle energetic move to the upside that validates that order block before any of this price action even happens you'd mark this out as a potential order block and you would you could literally just play order blocks and see see uh, and just back test them and see whether they play out for you but so you would wait for the retracement down into this box you would look and continuation to the upside but this has to line up with your bias so you don't want to be looking for retracements into bullish order blocks if there's no bias you, you don't want to have a bearish bias and like save your bearish on the market and you're looking for shorts you don't want to be looking for for bullish order blocks you want to be looking for bearish order blocks and and uh stick to your bias be uh don't be stubborn with it but be stubborn with it when it's valid um but yeah we'll move on from jmt anyway i just wanted to show you a quick little rundown on order blocks hopefully you guys understood what i was trying to get at <laughs> let me take another sip of this liquid gold <laughs> um, sand seems to be uh, is it oh my ab sup bro <laughs> um, 200 ma is kind of acting as as support for sand it's it's been acting as support for for quite some time you can see the wick low here was respected nicely wick low here was respected quite nicely and we're kind of trading within that um well on the 200 ma right now um we could lose it but that is it doesn't have to obviously tap it perfectly and, and bounce off um so we'll go to the one hour see whether there's actually anything to trade I no <laughs> no um, so if anything it'd be shorts on sand um, you can see this fair value gap would have been an entry point for a short so that's an entry point for the short um, why would you enter there um, this is a lot this is a higher time frame order block so let's get rid of the scribble obviously we're on the hourly but if you go over to maybe let's check the four hour yep you can see that's a four hour bearish order block price tapped into it respected it Move to the downside. Price tapped into this fair value gap. Obviously wicked above it, but we didn't break above this next bearish order block. That would have been an entry point. Um, you could look to short sand, but it's kind of already played out. I wouldn't bother. Um, yeah, the entries were. You can see. So. Once you're in a confirmed downtrend, you could literally just play order blocks and make money. So that was the first order block after this confirmed downtrend. So we've got this move, wicked up, lower high, weakness in the market. 
Um, you can see this up close candle. That's the bearish order block because we've got the move to the downside that was more energetic. Retracement up, that would have been your entry point. Back down. You can see these order blocks are just respected really nicely. Um, that's another one. That's another one. This one hasn't been retested yet, so that could be an area you could consider getting in short, but I wouldn't, I don't know, I wouldn't bother. Um, we're going to move on from this. But yeah, you could anticipate something like that. Um, I'll leave that up to you guys. Maybe analyze sand a bit more and see whether you can uh, establish anything, any kind of setup from it. Um, can you possibly do FET? Yes, I can. Just write it down. We'll move on. So we'll hit, hit link. Okay, so link actually looks okay for a potential long. Um, you'd want this bullish order block to be respected. So we want to see a bit of a stronger move to the upside from within this order block, which could happen today. Um, and you'd want to get in on a on the retest after confirmation, after confirmation of uh, the respect of this order block. So um, currently, the 200 MA has. Uh, begun acting like dynamic resistance um if it's trading above it's you know it's you could be looking at it as resistance if it's trading below you could be looking at it as potential support um we also failed to break above this bearish order block which is a continuation of bearish price structure but i would like to see yeah, I don't know. I'd be looking at shorting it, actually. One hour, let's have a look at the hourly, see what we have got. Yeah, you can see, so this bearish order block was respected. That would have been an entry point. You've got this bearish order block that was respected. And then this bearish order block was also respected. So we're, we're, there's no confirmation of a uh, change in trend direction. Um, if anything, you'd just be looking to short it. Um, you could, if you wanted, to get in short. You could look to get in from 18.913. I'm not going to call it on pro alerts because I'm not, um, I might. Give me five minutes, oh, give me two minutes, sorry, I'll be back in a sec, I'm just going to check something.
sorry guys. Um, so, nah, I'm going to leave Link. I'm not going to force it. We do obviously have a confirmed, oh, yeah, nah, I'm leaving it. <laughs> we'll move on. I've actually got to go in about 15 minutes, so I'll go through your uh, coins now that you guys requested. So we'll have a look at Nia. We'll get rid of all this crap. Um, this could be a short. So you've got the buy side grab. High, failed. This broke out of bearish uh, price structure, but then we just kind of went straight back into it. Um, so, hmm, I would personally be looking at, let's zoom out, this kind of looks like a sell model as well, so you've got your accumulation period, you've got the first leg up, consolidation, second leg up, consolidation, third leg up, consolidation, and then this is usually what happens before you get a bit of a sell model, so you get a buy side grab, you get a sign of weakness, couldn't break above that high, another sign of weakness, this is like what people call the butt, so, um, you know, we could really make a move down. Um, so I actually might look at a short on Nia, to be honest. Um, let's... Yeah, so we've got... <laughs> Obviously, momentum kind of doesn't really know what it's doing right now, but we do have a bit of a bearish cross here and a, and a small flare out, which is confirmed kind of bearish momentum. We'll head to the one hour, see if we can find a short entry. Um, that would have been a short entry right there. This fair value gap could have been a short entry. Um, you've got the 200 MA which I wouldn't use on the on the 50 on the 1 hour but it's you still can use it on the 1 hour. Um let's uh, I'm just trying to think in terms of leverage what I would be using for a setup like this cuz I'm trying to think of my invalidation point which the invalidation point would actually be quite roomy but with shorts you want to be using higher leverage especially in a in a uh, bullish market because you want to be keeping your invalidation quite tight you don't want to be leaving a roomy invalidation point when the market could reverse to the upside very very quickly um, I would definitely leave the invalidation point at 8.586 but that is way too high for any kind of leverage setup um, so let's see if we can scalp it. Um, go back to the hourly. And I might, I might leave it. <laughs> but yeah, it definitely looks like a short. It definitely looks like a short over a long, in my opinion. Um, this looks like a, a big old sell model, so... If you don't know what a buy model and a sell model is, just uh, look up ICT buy model and ICT sell model, um, and you'll be able to get some Google images on uh, on what that looks like, and you'll kind of see what I'm talking about here. Um, I'm just still thinking on whether it's worth a setup. If anything. I would like to see an entry point within this fair value gap, which 
I might actually set limits there. Because that kind of lines up with this really well. Um, yeah, I'm going for it. Alright. I'll set a pro alert. That amount of room gives me more. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that drawdown from that fair value gap. So we'll go near short near at 7.790. We'll go 10x. Our targets will be so we'll pull our fib from this low, from that high, sorry, to this low. Oh, you can see that that lines up quite nicely with our. Um, optimal trade entry range as well so that fair value gap lines up really well golden pocket lines up with almost complete um, golden pockets the 0.705 fib um, lines up well with almost complete mitigation of that fair value gap so that's a bit of added confluence to the setup um, so yeah now we've got our targets as well so our target our initial target lines up well with that uh, this bullish order block this is kind of why I use these um, these targets, the the negative targets on the fibs, because they tend to line up with potential reversal areas. So you kind of you you can still take profits at areas of potential reversal, um, which is which is handy. So yeah, let's let's do this. I'm kind of quite convicted on this at the moment not not quite con um yeah it's it's not a trade that i feel is forced um i'll head back to chat quick just to make sure no one's saying anything bounces for the conference yeah so that bounce could be uh could be our entry so um yeah that's that's kind of what we're anticipating isn't it we're kind of anticipating a bit of a bounce from current price into this fair value gap and then a further move to the downside I kind of like having a neutral bias on on uh, on the market because when when it is neutral I I uh, I'm obviously more open to looking for for both sides of setups like longs and shorts but yeah we'll quickly type this out so 7.795 oh no there are our entries, dummy. 7.795 is our entry. Targets are 6.157, 5.425. Now these entries, I mean, these might sound crazy, but um, we're not gonna go with 10X leverage, actually. We'll go with 6X, because we're framing it on the four hourly. Um, so it's a bit more of a weekly kind of swing setup. Um, and then our ent our final target for the setup would be 3.962. I know this sounds crazy, but yeah, swing setups, uh, you know, they can obviously take a long time to play out. And if you catch this move on the four hour, you're obviously going to make a lot of money, well, depending on your account size, obviously. But yeah, you're, you're going to make some good gains if if you are on the right side of this move. And the R&R &R is... is uh, the risk to reward is is good, so um, it's definitely valid. Our stop loss will be at eight point five. We'll go eight. We'll just go eight point six. We'll round it off to eight point six. So if six x is even too much leverage, um, obviously lower it. Um, you can go three to five x. That's that's. I'm going to leave that up to you. Um, I'm happy with six x. Um, actually, I'm going to go five x. So, um, layered entries at 
and 0 0.8044 I won't post the chart because we're looking at the chart right now um <laughs> but yeah so all right so we got a near setup and we have an arv set up this morning see if we can tag into any of them um what's next on the list rss3 okay i, I don't look at this coin too much to be honest but we'll we'll do it quickly before i have to leave um rss3 See these these kind of moves. Um, I do really like them for for short setups, especially if we have a, a bit more of a neutral bias or a bearish bias. Got the buy side grab. So that was buy side liquidity. Everyone would have been trading within this range, and the stop losses would have been sitting at this high. Um, we took that, so people were stopped out of the market, and then we got a subsequent move to the downside. Um, the double, the 918 MAs look like they're about to cross bearish on the four hourly. So I'd be looking at a short setup, if anything, on RSS3. Um, yeah. Reason. Um. <laughs> Yeah, nah, I wouldn't be touching it right now, to be honest. It doesn't really look too appealing, even for a short. Um, the short would have been... Yeah, nah, I'd just, I'd just be leaving RSS3 right now. Um, if you were desperate, you could enter in a long right now at market and kind of have your stop loss at 0 0.4307 um, so yeah you're keeping it tight and you're anticipating a potential bounce from within this bullish order block but I'll leave that up to you I'm not touching it um, so we'll move on there's not much on RSS3 for me uh, Phil the four hourly so Phil actually looks okay for a potential long um, you can see that we're obviously holding the 200 MA as a bit of support um, and we have been for quite some time it hasn't traded below it for a while so this is a bit of a decision point on whether uh, Phil continues to the upside um, our bias is neutral so it could um, All right, let's see if we can... Samir, bros, my boy, what's going on? <laughs> um, mm, there's not really much to trade off on, on Phil right now other than if you just market smashed. Um, <laughs> and I would just keep my stop loss below 8.3, so... You could, you could play Phil right now, just kind of using the MA as uh, the 200 MA as a bit of an indication that we could bounce from here, but that's obviously not much confluence, um, which is why we would keep the stop loss quite tight, which is this wick low here. Um, obviously, we've got this bullish order block the price is kind of tapped into and a bit of, bit of a reversal but it hasn't broken any bearish price structure so that's not price could be looking for lower um, I won't be making a move on Phil but yeah if you wanted you could literally market smash right now and have your stop loss below 8.3 the 8.3 week low um, and anticipating a bounce from the 200 MA so I'll leave that up to you guys um, we'll move on to FET 
the last coin we'll look at for today. Um, I'm going to start doing more than one stream a week. Um, because even though this is my main day for, for looking for setups, I tend to actually look at them a lot quicker than I am right now. Obviously because I'm doing it for myself and I'm not trying to educate at the same time. Um, so this is taking longer for me to actually find trades than normal. Um, because I already know what I'm what I'm looking for in on charts. Um, but yeah, it's obviously taking more time to show you guys what I look for trying to explain things as well as find setups. Um, so I will do more than one stream per week to try and even catch up for myself on setups. Um, so FET, um, we've got not much going on here. <laughs> I would, if anything, I would have pulled my fibs from this swing from that swing low to this swing high. Um, you can see we've retested range equilibrium there, but we don't buy at, this is premium. So above above range equilibrium, we're at premium right now. I'd be waiting. You can see the 0 0.79 kind of lines up with the 200 MA retest. So I would, I might even set those um, yeah, I'm going to set them. I'm going to set a pro alert for a swing setup on FET because anything below, that's quite an important range, this bullish order block. Um, that's only a small, um, a small leverage play. It's, it'd be a swing setup because you, you kind of have to be ready for some drawdown. So long fit but I do like these four hourly swing setups um, and this there's obviously fair value gaps in here that hasn't been tested we haven't gone back down into below into discount of this price range so it, if the market did remain bullish and we had a bit of a uh, we could get a sweep during FOMC before reversal to the upside that's that's good um, so We'll long fit at 2.1066. Um, I'm going to go with 3x. Yep, 3x. And our targets will be this high. So 3.0. 3.0236 and our final exit would be 6.2153 now obviously this is a large move to the upside but we're anticipating it, right? Look, there's a obvious uptrend on on fet on fetch, um, and the OTA range kind of lines up with this bullish order block quite nicely, along with the fair value gap and discount of the range. So th this is yeah, I, I like to catch these moves. They can be really really powerful. Um, you can use five five x if you want, but just be prepared for. For potential drawdown because we're we're setting our stop loss all the way down at 1.29 so that's a large a large move to the a potential move to the downside um, 1.2900 um, we're gonna layer so layered entries at 1.9733 one point eight four zero zero and then we'll go for another entry at equilibrium of the so you can always use your fibs to find equilibrium of an order block so equilibrium equilibrium of this bullish order block is one point six five nine five so one point six five nine five will be our final entry for the setup 
Um, so yeah, that's it. Oh shit, okay. It's, it's too great. Um, that's okay. We'll go with a, a smaller amount of leverage. Maybe even just 2x. Cool. So two X worked. <laughs> um, obviously, liquidation point was large, was too large at three X with the with the stop loss. Um, this could be a big big move to catch though. So I'll leave it up to you guys where you where you want to place your stop loss and how you want to manage it. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for me. Um, so we've we've the most obviously the ones I'm most convicted on are uh, I've looked. I've looked best out of out of all the coins we looked at this morning. Um, I'm kind of. I might next stream. I might talk less, just to um, kind of. I might even mute myself completely and and kind of just sift through the charts and try and find setups for you guys, and then we can talk about about them after I've looked through everything. Um, this is obviously. I'm, I'm still trying to get my head around how to do this most effectively for you guys. Um, I'm trying to, you know, obviously give you as much information as I can without banging on about it too much, which I, I know I tend to do, but it's, you know, I'm passionate about it and I, I enjoy doing this stuff. So, um, yeah, I might try next week to just smash through some, some setups and, and, uh, and just keep myself muted and then we can speak about them once I'm, once I've finished looking at my own watch list and, uh, and then I can take, um, requests from you guys as well so hope you guys got something out of this anyway um yeah we found a few setups you could even just l look into fet as a spot move um but yeah I'll, I'll leave that one up to you guys we'll quickly just head to the hourly see what yeah nah i'd just, I'd just be waiting for for the for the swing setup on fet um so yeah all right guys um, I'm jumping off, take care, and safe trading. <laughs>